So after the fall of man, would you say mutations, like negative mutations or neutral mutations, would have started? Or were there always mutations? It's kind of like rust on the car, right? Like an individual piece of rust, it's not going to affect the fitness of the car. But over time, they accumulate to the point where the car deteriorates, becomes functionless. So it's not that one you know, piece of, of rust atom that actually affects the car. It's the accumulation of them, just like it's the accumulation of mutations that affect our genomes and puts a shelf life on the genomes. That's, that's really the most important part. To, to put it into perspective, let, let's take, I'm just gonna use an example on top of my head. Let's say there's a room full of 100 people, okay? Now, selection acts on the phenotype as a whole, okay? It's either the entire individual or not at all. Now, the problem is there, there's a selection problem, okay? Because we're all mutant. So selection has to choose between mutant and more mutant. Now, there's a problem there because say we eliminated 50 of the most mutant people of that room full of 100, and now we're left with 50. Well, we're still left with 50 people more mutant than the previous generation. So eventually mutations will accumulate. We will become more mutant continuously. Selection can slow it down, but it can't stop it. And we see that linear decay curve um, in the empirical data, but we also see it recorded in the Bible. So either the biblical writers were somehow familiar with advanced population genetics, or this really is a, a fact of life. And ultimately that would be proof or a strong proof for the Bible and not just all other religions, but for the Bible itself. Cause the, the Bible is what describes a point of least entropy, not only in the universe, but also on a genetic level. So that's why the Bible is most consistent with the scientific data. And that's why the Bible as a starting point, makes the testable predictions. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense.